The game Batman Arkham Asylum refers to a greater extent to two visual novels. These are Arkham Asylum Living Hell and Arkham Asylum A Serious House on Serious Earth. And the cover of the latest comic uh, reminds us of the entrance uh, to the visitor center where the prisoners drew the Joker. Bugs, which are used uh, throughout Arkham Asylum, reference Amadeus Arkham's bug obsession. Beetles can be seen everywhere, on stairs, on railings, on walls, on cabinets. The inscription of Amadeus Arkham's circle writing also refers to the visual novel. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. When it chose me, I felt proud. I was honored to continue his work, to cleanse this city. Warden Quincy Sharp believes that his is the successor to the work of Amadeus Arkham, just like Doc Charles Cavendish in the comics. In the botanical gardens uh, you can find a reference uh, to the mad dog who killed the wife of Amadeus Arkham. He is also featured in the Chronicles of Arkham. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. The bell with the date uh, 1st April uh, 1922, on this day Amadeus Arkham killed mad dog. The story of Killer Croc and Aaron Cash in the game is almost exactly a retelling of their story from the Arkham Asylum Living Hell comic. It tells how the Killer Croc beat off Aaron Cash's hand. That proves the good. But it was only that means some of the bitches Cash. How'd you get that? What's wrong with you? Don't you know nothing? Cash had a disagreement with Killer Croc a while back. Croc got free and chowed down on Cash's hand. Last night, the patient was pacified after a breakout attempt. Guardian Cash is in hospital. Reports state that the patient attacked Cash and in the struggle consumed his left hand. Cash is lucky to be alive. He lost a lot of blood. Killer Croc says Tick Tock. This also references the comic where he talked about it. This is also a reference to the tale of Peter Pan, where the crocodiles smell with the watch. In addition, the prisoners uh, call Aaron Cash Captain Hook. Boss, it's done. The room is full of gas and Captain Hook is stuck in there. Just like in the fairy tale about Peter Pan. A photo of uh, Killer Croc's uh, T-pose can be found in the intensive treatment. Photo with a hand with the inscription Hands of my locker. Killer Croc appears in the sewers and punches the glass of the door. Find you. Rip your flesh like paper. We can see what's behind the door. A lot of different pipes. However, when the door is opened and Batman enters it, the place will be completely different and there will no pipes there. Killer Croc's cell is uh, located in the medical facility and it is full of human remains. Was Killer Croc actually fed to people? Joker mannequins with a TV on their heads constantly change uh, their poses as soon as Batman turns away. <laughs> there may be several of them, or they may sometimes appear in an adjacent uh, booth behind glass. Here we see as many as five mannequins, but as soon as we turn away, there's uh, four of them left, and they change positions. I know I have. Surprise! At the end, it turns out uh, that the Joker mannequin uh, with the TV on his head is the Joker, and the TV that was on his head turns out to be a bomb. What? By the way, the Joker mentions uh, the murdered Robin Jason Todd several times during the game. So that's I was thinking. You really could use a friend in here. What's it like in your organization? Do you punish your hired help when they fail you? Or is that saucy outfit you make him wear punishment enough? He also talks about it here. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and the old codger dies. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick. Now, let's go over the references to the Killing Joke comic. There were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. 
Oh, hell, you've heard that one before, haven't you? The Joker wanted to tell a joke about two lunatics in an asylum, but he immediately remembers uh, that uh, Batman has already heard this. Accordingly, uh, the events in the game take place after the events in the killing joke. The throne made from many queens also refers to the killing joke. Everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc. In the intensive treatment, uh, there is a sign upstairs in one of the rooms. The exact same thing in on the table in the Killing Joke comic. The Joker tries to tell a false story about his origin, which also refers to the Killing Joke. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe you. My father was a cop. One week from retirement from the mob... I've seen the movie. What are you scared of? Scared? Yes, scared. There's obviously something. Something that made you what you are. What if... What if I'm too scared to remember? It hurts too much. In the visitor center, Monty was here is scratched on the glass. This is a reference to the 2008 comic book The Joker, which featured a character named Monty. By the way, the Joker flayed him alive. At the end of the game, the Joker says something. He's tired, let's uh, pip him up. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. It's very reminiscent uh, of the 2008 Batman The Dark Knight movie. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. The Titan Joker is uh, also a reference to the episode Brown from the 2005 animated series The Batman. Jack White is one of the names Joker also uses in this game. The payments came from a company owned by uh, Mr. Jack White. One of Joker's oldest aliases. A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. It's uh, Joker, the criminally insane. Situated on a small island. At the very beginning of the game, the prisoners shout abruptly Joker, Joker, which also refers to the one of the Joker's name, Joseph Kerr. In the medical facility you can see a drawing of the Red Hood and how he becomes the Joker. You can see a puppet, a Red Hood, a reference to the fact that the Mafia used the Joker to do what they wanted. Then Batman appears and Red Hood dies. Instead, a clown's face appears. That is, uh, the Red Hood becomes the Joker. If you fail to Bane, he will break Batman's back. This is a reference to the Batman Nightfall comic book. The bat is broken! <laughs> in the cell, it is not Bane, but Lunatic. But in the cutscene, Lunatic turned into Bane. The first recording of an interview with Harley Quinn completely copies the conversation from the cartoon Mad Love. Harleen Quinzel, call me Harley. Everyone does. I'm surprised you want to intern here at Arkham. I've always had a thing for extreme personalities. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I'll warn you right now, these are hardcore psychotics. Most would rather kill you than speak to you. I'm sure I'll be fine, Doctor. They'll eat you for breakfast. I mean it. One or two of them will enjoy it too. Be careful. Harleen Quinzel, I'm Joan Leland. Hi Joan, call me Harley. Everyone does. I must admit, I was surprised you wanted to intern here at Arkham. Well, I've always had an attraction for extreme personalities. They're more exciting, more challenging. And more high profile. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I'll warn you right now, these are hardcore psychotics. If you're thinking about cashing in on them by writing a tell-all book, think again. They'd eat a novice like you for breakfast. In the intensive treatment, uh, hiding in the exposed depth of the texture is a cube with a classic image of Harley Quinn from the 1992 Batman animated series. 
in Dr. Harleen Quinzel's office, there is a mannequin's head with the classic image of Harley. Miss Queen can perform a takedown not only with the help of the jump, but also with the help of an explosive gel. If you let yourself be discovered ahead of time, then Harley Quinn will simply shoot Garden. Do your worst. A reference to Lucius Fox in a conversation with the Oracle. Proof. Lucius did a good job. And also in Armor Upgrade version 4, Lucius Fox is mentioned. In an interview with Poison Ivy, she mentions uh, Dr. Jason Woodrow, Swamp Thing. Are you referring to the event with Dr. Woodrow? Yes. What else? Of course, at the time, I thought Jason had poisoned me. But in retrospect, he did me a huge favor. The magazine with the Joker mentions the Injustice Gang created by Lex Luthor. The Injustice Gang is also mentioned in the newspaper about Firefly. Head of Strength, Jacket Henchman and other parts of that body can be found in the medical facility. Aging Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. The Joker mentions Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard, which reference to the old movie of The Three Stooges Men in Black. Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Get it. Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Calling Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Patient interview one. Patient was referred to me after the incident with Dr. Murphy. Step away! Get away from Dr. Cole! In an interview with the Scarecrow, certain Dr. Murphy and Dr. Combs are mentioned. Killian Murphy is an actor who played the role of the Scarecrow in the film Batman Begins, and Jeffrey Combs voiced the Scarecrow in the animated series New Batman Adventures, a voice actor with the last name Adrande who also voiced the Scarecrow. The female guard has the same last name in this game. The Amadeus Arkham Chronicles mentions uh, the cities of Metropolis and Keystone. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone. Metropolis is mentioned by one of the prisoners at Arkham Mansion. Hey, I've got a cousin in Metropolis who needs some heavies for his security company. It's a regular home away from home. Batman says home away from home, which refers uh, the episode Strange New World from the 2005 series The Batman. Unfortunately, I did not find an expert from the cartoon and cannot provide it to you. Jack Ryder's bios mentions that he is a creeper. Creator's photos uh, can be found throughout the game. In the medical facility, Dr. Cloney is mentioned, one of the names in the game creators. When the prisoners talk to the engineer, they mention Higo, also the last name of the one of the creators. You see Higo over there? He has a thing for blades. And in the challenge mode, in absolute madness, on the doors there are the names of the three creators, Dr. Souza, Dr. Smith and Dr. Walker. I could not identify the face of this man in the photograph. The city is being evacuated, says Mayor Wyatt, creator Ben Wyatt. The newspaper has concept art from the game Urban Chaos, and in the same game Wyatt is the mayor. By the way, concept art from the 2006 game Urban Chaos can be seen in the Visitor Center as well as the Crime Alley in Batman's Hallucinations, which refers to the game. This is the first game from Rocksteady Studios. At the very beginning of the game we can see Paulie's Dinner Restaurant. Pun. Paul Dini is one of the writers of the animated series for about Batman. In the penitentiary there is an inscription in Latin Liberate me ex infernis, free me from hell. This may be a reference to the 1997 film Even Parison. In the medical facility there is an advertisement from the Arkham Care website. Once upon a time this site actually existed. In the cell block where Poison Ivy is kept, this place is called the Green Mile, which refers to the Stephen King's novel and the 1999 film. X-rays show a strange skull that resembles uh, that of Homer Simpson. Perhaps this is not the case. An unusual prisoner who appears to have one arm, but when viewed through detective vision, it turns out uh, that his other hands is uh, tied behind his back. This is Luke Oliver, 
The man who won the GameStop Batman Arkham Asylum live in Arkham competition. Luke Oliver was the winner of a 2008 competition in which the first place winner's face had to be rendered somewhere in Batman Arkham Asylum game. Luke Oliver was uh, present uh, when he Joker took control of Arkham Asylum when the lunatics uh, were freed from their cells. Luke was the one who didn't make it out of the cell. Luke Oliver's name is mentioned in the Joker's party list along with the rest of of the characters. Batman's stubble and damage. At the very beginning of the game we see Batman clean shaven. However, in the end of the game he has a fair amount of stubble and he also has scars and wounds. Good game. Secret room in Quincy Sharp's office. You need to apply three explosive gels to the center of the wall and detonate them. Inside we will see the concept art of the future Arkham City. Even then Quincy Sharp was uh, planning to turn part of the city into a prison. In the original game on the Joker's gifts it is written to a dear Catwoman, a dear Two-Face and many many others, but not to the Penguin. However, in the remaster Batman Return to Arkham all the inscriptions are replaced with Dear Penguin. This is logical since in Batman Arkham City all these gifts can be found in the Penguin's Museum. Wario's post credit scenes. After completing the storyline it could be Killer Croc, Scarecrow or Bane. In the remaster Batman Return to Arkham, after the battle with Bane, we can see the inscription Arkham on the building. This inscription is not present in the original game. And in the remaster the inscription is missing during gameplay. Also in the remaster Batman Return to Arkham it rains constantly, unlike the original game. All true in the original game in the first cutscene it still rains, but it doesn't rain during gameplay. The Riddler goes crazy if you not solve his riddle. Don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait. I said, don't cut yourself on this sharply observed portrait. You know, portrait, painting, picture on the wall, in a frame, a painting of something sharp. Warden, Sharp, that old guy who runs the place, in a painting, on the wall? So you did it, well done! I would have expected a child to work that one out, let alone the world's greatest detective. <laughs> By the way, if you complete all Riddler's challenges, Batman will figure out uh, his location and send the address to the police. The police can then be heard arresting Riddler. What? You did it? You must have cheated. There is no way you could have beaten me. Well, you asked for it, Batman. My final challenge for the whole of Gotham is just seconds away. What? Sirens. The police. You cheated, Batman. You couldn't have outsmarted me. Riddler breaks the fourth uh, wall when he says that Batman found the solution on the internet. Are you cheating? Looking them up on the internet? Tell me. Speaking of the fourth wall. Did anyone catch the game last night? <laughs> Did anyone catch the game last night? Then the game crashes. The game starts over. If you try to skip the cutscene, a non-existent button appears. Wayne Manners appears. After the Joker kills Batman, a clue appears that uh, cannot be completed. And I really like the moment when Bruce Wayne crawls out of the grave and uh, sees uh, himself, that is, uh, Batman going crazy walking and eating a rat. There seems to be... As the Joker is being let down the corridor, he screams and scares uh, the doctor. When they roll Batman down this corridor, instead of Quincy Sharp, Scareface speaks, and instead of prisoner screamer Joker, they lead Sharp, Commissioner Gordon, Aaron Cash, and Dr. Young. They say that they did not kill this family. Wayne, I think. I didn't kill that family! Keep moving. Please, you can let us go. We won't try and escape. 
Shut up, you stupid old man. Keep those mouths shut! Batman! Batman screams and scared the scarecrow just like the Joker screamed at the doctor. Cut me free! Let's get back to the Riddler's uh, riddles. Riddler's cage. Ra's al Ghul's uh, body with a tag on his toe. If you will be back later, the body will disappear and the tag will be lying on the floor. Therefore, Ra's al Ghul simply resurrected and escaped. Jack Ryder's radio, Scareface puppet, Thompson ventriloquist machine gun, Catwoman gloves and glasses, mention on Firefly in newspapers. This newspaper also mentions Roman Sionis, the Black Mask. His mask hangs in Dr. Young's office. Dr. Thomas Elliot, hush, Prometheus. The Prometheus uh, medicine cart is in Harlin Quinzel's office. Veins, teddy beer, lips, nose and something else, all that remains of the great white shock. Looks creepy. Scarecrow gas, calendar man cell, Victor Freeze cell, Harvey Dance cell, poster from Penguin's Iceberg Lounge, umbrellas and Penguin's hat, Maxis Zeus cell, swing Tweedly Dee and Tweedly Doom, the skeleton in the flower is a killer moth, Humpty Dumpty soldiers, gloves, book and the red catcher's respirator, Mad Hatter's tea party, strange files of Hugo Strange, the grave of Amadeus Arkham on which is written Mother Dorothy dies August 1880, age uh, 75 years, his brother Tom Thomas W dies July 87, aged 28 years. Juliana dies uh, 47, aged William. It's unclear whose grave this actually is, but uh, nearby there is a grave with the same inscription. A cell with Clayface and his uh, dummy Helena. The Clayface pretends to be Aaron Cash, Sharp or Gordon. And the Helena Mannequins refers to the Clayface Preston Payne from Detective Comic number 477. The head and hand of this mannequin lie in a pipe in the control room. In Miss Quinzel's office uh, there is concept art by John Gravato in the newspaper. It's funny uh, that the Titan monster can destroy also containers with Titan itself and Batman won't have to waste explosive gel. They say Batman doesn't kill anyone, but I highly doubt it. With the help of the Batclaw you can true guys all from anywhere. And a couple more options for creative takedowns from Batman. I love doing like this. He's here! And there is no need to strain. Funny moment. There is a lot of funny conversation in this game. We're in control. Where did she go? I don't know. Answer me! I said I don't know! She could be anywhere! You're not getting out of here, you know. Yeah? Well, you're going down. Shut up! We've got this whole building locked down. You really think so? Oh yeah? Wanna think again? Look behind you. Do I look stupid? Do you think I'm just gonna turn around so one of you lame asses can jump me? Ha! Like that'll happen. But my mom lives down by the docks. I know. Everyone knows. <laughs> Don't you talk about her. I'll kill you. You understand? He's just messing. The Joker says this stuff don't do nothing bad. But you can't believe a word he says. Have you seen what that Titan stuff does to people? It turns them into monsters. But my mom! <laughs> It'll be an improvement. If we first enter our convention uh, through the top, we will hear the following dialogue. So, what you gonna do when we're finally out of here? Hey, I've got a cousin in Metropolis who needs some heavies for his security company. You know, knocking on doors, collecting money. Breaking some legs if they don't pay. Good times. You want in? I could put in a good word. Sounds great. I'm up for that. If you first go through the door, it will be like this. Well, look who it is. Yeah, big bad Batman. Come on, tough guy. Come and get us. Oh, look at him. Stuck out there. Ain't you got a cat to rescue from a tree or something? <laughs> That's right. Go on, get lost. We're in control. Joker will finish you off. 
And then we go upstairs, the conversation will be completely different. Yeah, I can't believe Batman just left. Yeah, the stinking coward limped off, cape between his legs. If he tried to come through, I'd take him on. He wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'd rip his head off and give it to Joker for a paperweight. Always sucking up to the boss. What's that supposed to mean? You heard me. At the beginning of the game, on the way to the elevators, you can hear a telephone conversation. Hello? What's happening there? I'm trying to contact Steve. Is he there? Hold one second. I'll see if I can find him. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I've looked everywhere, but I can only find his head. I'll get back to you when I find the rest of them! <laughs> After we get out from the first time, we can talk to absolutely all the guards in the hospital. You can find videos of prisoners' conversation in the tip on my channel. A security guard named Thomas Ambrister is killed by the Joker. But he can't be saved if you first uh, turn off the electricity supply. Then the Joker will say that Batman is one step ahead. Well, aren't you the persistent one? That's always one step ahead. After this, uh, there will be no guard. I hope Batman saved him and he is alive. <laughs> An interesting story about Razor, the Joker's henchman. Joker says that Razor failed him. Boss, it's done. The room is full of gas and Captain Hook is stuck in there. Thing is, Razor didn't get out in time. He's stuck in there too. Well, that'll teach him to dilly-dally. Don't let anyone out of there, even Razor. He's failed me, and I don't like failures. Yeah, sure, boss. He was slowing us down anyway. After this, we can see Razor hanging from a rope. And then we watch as the Joker takes revenge on him for this wrongdoing. Are they ready? Have you planted the explosives yet? Dude! Razor's just finishing his off now. Good. Let's test him out. No! No, I'm still up! <laughs> Some places cannot be reached ahead of a time. If while trying to save Dr. Young, we reveal ourselves, she will be killed immediately. It's the best! No, what the hell? Wait, no. <laughs> under attack. If we make noise, the prisoners won't care at all. What was that? Calm down. No one's coming. No one's stupid enough to mess with us. If we blow up on the wall, it won't be enough, and Dr. Young will still be killed. No. No. <laughs> There's a different options uh, for behavior in the library. If we find a bomb, it will look like this dialogue. Oh, how frustrating. Thought it was going to be easy, didn't you? Has tonight taught you nothing? In two minutes, the room will fill with happy gas. The audience will be in fits of ecstasy and then die. If you do nothing, nothing will happen. One minute thirty to go. Oh, gotta say, I'm getting bored already. Maybe I should just press the button and... <laughs> Only joking. Remember the hostages? They're entering their final 60 seconds of remembering to breathe. Tick tock, tick tock. Just 30 seconds left. I hope all that running about hasn't ruined that exquisite costume of yours. Ten. You can go straight upstairs and the Joker will make a speech like this. Reading the last page first? Shame on you! Well, here's the punchline. Two minutes, 
And the giggle gas goes boom! Permanently cheering up those miserable doctors! Tick tock, tick tock! <laughs> you guys are a disgrace! You let them get away! What kind of henchmen are you anyway? Just get out of my sight! Run! Hide! Whatever. I'll deal with you later. In additional challenges you can play at the Joker, he moves very funny, kills opponents, use his gadgets, we can also beat it on James Garden himself. <laughs> Batman can fight Victor Zaz in challenge mode, but Victor will simply be a tough opponent with two knives. You can use the glitch and get out from the asylum. If you shoot a line launcher and dislocation, the game can throw you up and send Batman flying out of the gate. It is impossible to get to the city, but you can get to a lonely platform or fall through the textures. The mansion has a working metal detector. When flying, the clock ignores Bruce's shoulders. There is a hitchhiker's maybe escaping patients sing near the asylum. Strange, who would think of picking up hitchhikers in such a place? There is only one name of the guest list, Batman. Batman! In the game you can break monitors and cameras. However, cameras are restored over time, but monitors are not. At the beginning of the game of the monitors, you can see prisoners freed from their cells and running along the corridors. H in level B2. Warning. Security breach in level B-8. Warning. Security breach in level B-1. Warning. Security breach in level B-6. Warning. Security breach in level B-4. Warning. In the medical facility you can fly straight into the open elevator which the prisoners arrived and without dealing with them go down and continue the game. By the way, there is another elevator, but it is walled up, inoperative, and there is one in the sewer. Everywhere in the game you can find upside down wheelchairs, with the left wheel spinning and having no friction. Apparently someone was very annoyed by this and on one of the strollers someone took off the leftmost wheel. When you turn on the physics function you can throw x-rays onto the floor. Bottles labeled Young's tonic are potentially lethal we can find in different places. Dear cap tablets, which are also potentially lethal, can be found near the head that uh, has been cut off from the body. Decapitated. Dear cap. On the way to the Batcave, many bones and skulls are walled into the wall. That's all, friends. Bye, everyone.